Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas, I'm your astrologer. Today I'll talk about Friday the 30th of July. Today the moon is in Aries till 11 p.m. Beirut time, which means it's uh, till 8 p.m. universal time. Then it moves to Taurus. How is it going to be for all signs? Starting with Aries, it's a gorgeous day, of course, with the moon in your sign and the sun in Leo. This is one of those most beautiful days, rewarding days. Uh, they uh, empower you with energy, with, with good opportunities opportunities with uh, moments of good luck and maybe with huge opportunities of good luck. Taurus, this can be a slow day um, as long as the moon is in Aries and you have to be very careful because it can be one of those um, um, one of those annoying days. Things may frustrate you, but as soon as the moon reaches your sign, then everything will be different and you may find yourself uh, actually um, participating in events that you never thought you would participate in. Gemini, it's an active day. It demands uh, your participation. It demands your interest. It demands your um, immediate uh, reaction. This is a beautiful day. It can bring out the best in you. So try to make the best of it and try to invest in the good quality of time. But you have to know that as soon as the moon moves to Taurus, everything will change and things will stand still. Moving to Cancer with the moon in Aries and the moon in Taurus, things are good. They're not that bad. And I think that while the moon is in, 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 in Aries, there's a possibility that you may be investing your time in good uh, in good uh, actions, in good achievements. You're trying to do something, you're trying to prove yourself, and this would be great. Moving to Leo, I think this is one of the beautiful days with the, uh, uh, the moon, uh, in trying with your son, I think this is a great opportunity for you to make a statement, a declaration, uh, or to move forward uh, or do something, introduce a change. This is a great day that will empower you with self-confidence and this is what you need. As for Virgo, Virgo, things will get better when the moon reaches uh, Taurus. But in the meantime, it's not one, it's not one of those beautiful days it can it can be depleting it can be um, annoying it can be uh, troublesome and it may be demanding um, that you do your job and you follow your your schedule and maybe you should do better actually so it can be demanding in one way or another and you have to pay to take care or pay attention to your health especially if you were born on the 25th 26th of um of august Okay, moving to Libra with the moon in, uh, in Aries, you may feel as if things are going the wrong direction. You may feel that things are not that, uh, that good. You may feel as if things are not that uh, interesting. Um, uh, Libra, I think what you have to do is uh, try to move forward with some big steps, try to move forward with interesting steps, and everything you do has to be very flexible. If you move with imposing intentions and ideas and projects, you may not get where you want. So play it safe, be cool, and um, invest your energy in, uh, in showing or improving how good you are. Scorpio, this is a good day under the influence of the moon in, Lib in, in, in Aries, but as soon as the moon reaches Taurus, you will get into that um, astrological depression where things may get uh, a little bit escalated. So you have to avoid getting into conflicts, into rows, into discussions because the moon in Taurus will bring out the, be the, the worst in you. Uh, so all this beautiful energy that you have may turn out to be against you. Uh, so you have to be extremely careful. As for uh, Sagittarius, I think Sagittarius is one of the lucky signs today. Your brilliant energy is astounding, is astonishing, is surprising and beautiful. Everybody will be mesmerized with your beautiful um, uh, actions and uh, maybe uh, the whatever you do, uh, even s serious things will be um, amazing <clears throat> and eye-catching. So you have to move on. Uh, with great steps and great confidence. It is a day to prove yourself. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. One of the best days actually in, um, in, uh, in July and you're going to end July uh, on a beautiful note. Okay. <clears throat>
Moving to Capricorn, things are good, things are not bad, and you're one of those good signs that can reinvent itself and you can make changes in your life and I think you're going to enjoy it. This is a beautiful day where you put all your actions, all your intentions uh, on some points uh, or one project and things will turn out to be true. It's a beautiful day. Especially if you were born uh, on the uh, 2nd, 3rd, 4th of January. Moving to Aquarius, I think Aquarius is one of the signs that should not wait for the moon to move to Taurus because that's when you drown yourself in self-pity or you drown yourself in a small issue. It can be personal issue, it can be something related to family, so it can be anything. So you have to be extremely careful. Try to make the best of the moon in Aries because that's what empowers you. That's what makes you feel empowered, enlightened, um, enthusiastic, happy and hopeful. You can be very lucky if you were born on the 17th, 18th of February. Let's move now to Pisces. Pisces, this is a nice day. It feels with you. It accompanies you. It helps you to prove yourself worthy of every beautiful thing around you. So there's no surprise if you may receive some good news. All you have to do is invest it in improving yourself and helping yourself, detoxing yourself, your mind, your body, and uh, in all those actions that will help you actually f feel better about yourself. Uh, if you were born on the 19th, 20th of February, try to be extremely uh, po uh, positive, okay? So basically, this is it for Friday. I wish you all a great day and see you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.